thanks again for joining us. I know it's been a little while. I want to talk to us before we actually get started. So I believe in the upcoming year, there's going to be a lot of things that we hear and see that we don't know what's going to be real and what's not. Okay. We have no idea what's going to be said, what's, uh, what we're going to see. And what I would say to us is don't just let someone tell you that that's what's real or this is what's happening. Research it. Check it for yourself. Don't just let someone talk you into that's what it is. Um, and that's really all I'm going to say about that on that part of it. Uh, you know, do your own research. Check into it. Don't just fall into the trap. And with that, I titled this message, What is Real? What is Real? And that noise that you're hearing is the heater that just kicked on. Thank goodness for a heater in these cold times. All right, and it is real. <laughs> okay, so what is real? If you would, turn to uh, 2 Corinthians 11, 14 and 15. 2 Corinthians 11, 14 and 15. And it says, And I am not surprised even Satan disguises himself as an angel of light. So it is no wonder that his servants also disguise themselves as servants of righteousness. In the end, they will get the punishment their wicked deeds deserve. Okay, um, what is real? Even Satan himself disguised as an angel of light. So it's, you, you know, it's, uh, it's no wonder that his servants disguise themselves. That they got work to do uh, to try to um, block us, hinder us, blind us. So I said, so. Uh, in the upcoming year and from here on out, uh, research it yourself. Check into it. Uh, you know, don't let just someone talk you into it. So I brought a few objects <clears throat> to um, help us to see. We're going to start off simple. Go into a little, little more deceiving or disguised. Uh, so I brought... A plastic fork and I brought another fork which one is the real okay it's pretty obvious right don't make a whole lot of noise what's real okay yeah it's you still use it but it breaks um, it, 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 it doesn't actually pick up and you can't uh, cut certain things because it's plastic it's you know it's, it's plastic not real, okay? Let's go with this egg here. Real, not real. It's pretty obvious, right? It's not real. It's plastic. Plastic egg. Um, I had the other egg inside of it when I tried to open it. I was scared it won't break when I practiced this. So, <clears throat> I brought this one. What is real? This is real, folks. Um, and I'm not going to crack it. But it, it is real, you know, and we can see the difference. That's just like some things in this world that's going on uh, or that the things that are going on around you. Um, some of them are real and some of them are not real. Some of them are real obvious. Some are not. Okay. Let's move on. A little more difficult, I believe. Okay. Got two rocks here. Which one's real and which one's not? Which one's real which one's not? When you first look at it, you really can't tell the difference. So you actually had to pick it up. You have to examine it. You have to look at it. You have to flip it over. You have to uh, bang it on something uh, to see which one's real and which one's not. Okay? What about if we go with the apples here? Which one's real? Which one's not? Okay. Not real. Fake. 
Christmas on them. Real. Okay. Now, what if I move this here? Because it's actually the same size uh, or real close to the same size. Which one is real? Which one's not? Yeah, well, we already know this one's real. Uh, no. This, this one's actually real also. So, again, you know, there will be things that we can see that will be obvious. Okay? We're going to think that are obvious. Which one's real, which one's not. There will be other things that we get that you won't really know until you examine them. And then... There'll be some things that are obvious. And again, some things that you have to examine. And we're, we're going to be so much into it this upcoming year and probably from here on out that uh, we've been lied to so much that uh, even when you see the real one, both of them in front of you, you're still going to be questioning it. And that's what we need to do. Question you know, when it comes in front of you, look at it, pick it up, soak it in, pray about it, examine it, look at it, turn it over, turn it around, research it, whatever all that you have to do to find out if it's real or not. Um, so, take something from that and apply it to our lives, and uh, we start examining everything that gets front and brought in front of us, because we already know that even Satan disguises himself as an angel of light, and so does his servants or the demons. Uh, and also, the people that are around you. Not everybody that's sent your way is from above. There are, the enemy has got people placed in your life as well that uh, are going to say that you're a friend, say that they're there for you, but you better examine it. You better search it out. You better ask God for discernment. Because these people, or some of these, some, some of these people, or maybe not. But you better be asking the Lord for discernment. You better be praying about it. You better be checking into it. You don't want to get deceived. 